So yeah, I'm Scotty. You're not. And uh, yeah, time to finally do this review. Movie I've wanted to see for a while. I've heard a lot about it. The Monster Squad. Group of kids are roped into saving the world from Dracula and a group of monsters where they are unleashed on the world and they have to stop Dracula from destroying an amulet of pure good that will then end up destroying the entire world. So, yes. This is brought to us by director Fred Decker, who brought us the previous year before, Night of the Creeps. But we got good news and bad news, girls. The good news is your dates are here. What's the bad news? They're dead. And this is very much in that vein. And it's got a lot of pouty mouth in it for this this kind of movie. You think it's a kid's movie? I look to see if it was PG-13 or <clears throat> PG, but there's a lot of swearing. Um, and it's cool to see this crossover of the Universal Monsters. Not Universal Monsters. They actually took the movie Universal. They said no. And so they had to tweak the look of some of the Universal Monsters. But honestly... I think Universal made a mistake. This group went to the Columbia TriStar Pictures, which also did not the creeps. So, you know, more for them. And it wasn't very popular when it came out. It gained a cult following in years. Well, years later, it has become a cult classic. Most known for the line, Wolfman's got nards. Yeah, so it's just a group all the monster squad they're like monsters and stuff and uh okay so first of all let's talk about some actors here one actor who keeps popping up in my reviews this month tom noonan who makes his third appearance in my reviews after being in hannibal and uh house of the devil he is now the frankenstein monster in this movie and another man who has appeared on my channel in recent months Stephen Macht, who was in the uh, uh, Amityville, It's About Time, and uh, Transfers, 4, 5, and 6. So, uh, or 3, 4, and 5, excuse me. So, yeah, he's here making an appearance. Uh, he has the dad of their main character, Sean. And we have John Grease, who most recently was in my review for uh, Fright Night Part 2 back at Sequel Thong this past summer. So, yeah, and he was on Lost, Benjamin Lyons' father, he's been in other things, but uh, he's the Wolfman here. And, uh, yeah, and then you have Jason Hervey, who is the older brother on the Wonder Years. He's a bully here. Of course he is. And, uh, Mary Ellen Trainer, who was in a bunch of stuff back in the 80s. Uh, the Goonies. Uh, Lethal Weapon. Anything with Robert Zemeckis or uh, Steven Spielberg or Joel Silver. Anyone of those guys involved. She popped up. Uh, I'm pretty sure she was in Gremlins. Uh, she's everywhere. And she's here. May she rest in peace. As Sean's mother. And so. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I told you the basic story. Dracula is after this amulet of pure good and that is indestructible but can be destroyed once every hundred years. So now he's traveled hundred years into the future and assembled a group of monsters which it really seems like he's the only one that's evil really. You got the wolfman during the day trying to tell the, the police that he's the wolfman, he's a werewolf and to kill him. Frankenstein monster who was never inherently evil in any real capacity in the Frankenstein movies. You know, makes friends with a little girl, which he sort of does in the original Frankenstein before he throws her in the river. And I still understand how she drowns. She just falls in and it's gone. But not in this movie. Uh, and then you have Gill Man, because you can't say Kurt Jordan's Black Lagoon. And of course, Dracula. So they have this uh, Van Helsing's journal that they need to figure out what it says, but it's in German. So they go to Scary German Guy, who 
By the way, one of the characters in this movie is called The Fat Kid. That's his name. I don't know all the names, but we went to Scary German Guy, and that is his name in this movie. Scary German Guy. Who tells them uh, what it says, basically what I said about the the amulet and everything, and they gotta stop him. And, uh, yeah. I do like that this one made me think, because Sean tells his daddy he wants to go see the movie Groundhog Day Part 12, that is a slasher film. Where someone kills someone with an axe. I'm just like, can you picture, picture Bill Murray going up? Well, he's stuck in the Groundhog Day for 12 movies. By then, I think he would be a slasher killer. Because it wouldn't matter. He'd just kill people every day. It's just... That's what I got from it. I don't know. It's really weird. Uh, yeah. But yeah, most of it is the, you know... Oh, there's the mummy, of course, who's there too. And it's a mummy that didn't come transported, but it escaped from the museum. And it, they're like, you know... You have this African-American cop who is the sheriff from Cheaper's Creepers 3... This is a better movie. This is a better performance. And he's like, he delivers the line that, that, that he gets the wah wah joke where he's like, 10,000 year old mummies don't just walk out of here. And then it snap cuts to a mummy just walking around. Wah wah. You know, that kind of joke. Uh, there's a lot of jokes that just quick cut things. Like when they, they say that they need a virgin to read this. German text. They go to their friend Rudy, who's like the tough kid, smokes and all that. He's like, hey, they're like, hey Rudy. He goes to get a drink with Fessy, right? He's like, they're like, hey Rudy, know any virgins? <laughs> you just go in there and ask someone. So they're gonna use this one of their friend's sisters, but of course she's not a virgin. She's like, well, it was Steve, but it doesn't count. It doesn't count. Okay, so what did you do that you think doesn't count? Was it uh, the BJ? Did he go down on you? Anal. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Because they say... Um, yeah. Okay. Because um, people say, oh, well, it was only anal, so it doesn't count. I, <laughs> that, no, honey. It does count. I don't know. But if any of those three options... I don't know, I would say the last one is the most appropriate. But anyway, uh, I'm just saying, this was the 80s. I don't know if they're doing that in the 80s, because it wasn't at the heights of the AIDS thing, so I don't know. I don't know, but uh, it's the only thing I could think of. Uh, I didn't mean to just blur it out like that. I just, uh, I would, if, if I wasn't thinking... I wouldn't have blurted it out if I wasn't thinking it, so I'm sorry. I just, uh, yeah, uh, because it just kind of came to me. You can see from my face. Oh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so she's not a virgin. So they get the obvious virgin, the little girl. Duh. They're like, oh, she's five years old. She can't read. Who's that? I would hit, but the, the, I can't speak German. The scary German guy says he'll help her, and they do eventually. And then we get the showdown with the monsters. You know, kick the wolf men in the nuts. Wolf man's got nards. And, you know, find out the other monsters. Eventually, they're able to use the amulet. Send them back to Limbo, including the Frankenstein monster. They're all sent back. And, uh, yeah. oh, by the way, uh, we get another line that is, you know, iffy for children. When the wolf man grabs the little girl and says, give me the amulet, you little bitch. Okay, just there's a lot of swearing in this, <clears throat> and they don't give two shits with this movie. This movie is pretty good. Uh, yeah, no one else to say. Pretty, 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 pretty good. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, I didn't say I'm gonna have to buy this movie. Uh, this is on Paramount Plus and Pluto TV. If you want to know where I watched it, I try to tell people where I watched it. Uh, this was pretty good. I liked it a lot. Um, it bears a second watch for me because I was kind of busy doing stuff. Um, but I got the gist of it. I was making supper. 
and I had to stop for an hour to watch the Winchesters. Yes, I am watching that show. I'm giving it a chance. We'll see how what my thoughts are after season one is done. But uh, I want I was gonna do it after the first episode. I'm like, let me do the whole season. Let me watch the whole season and see where it goes and see where I am at the end. But this is pretty, 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 pretty good. So. All right, well, we're getting close to the end of my recording sessions, which is really good for me. I am hoping I can be done before the weekend. That way I can just watch whatever this weekend. I have now, after this one, four more reviews to do, right? And I think I should be able to complete this for a certain point. Um... Four more reviews, three more rankings. And the rankings should be easy to do. Um, <clears throat> so, what are your thoughts on the Monster Squad? Then all comments below. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. I'm Scotty, and I'll see you in the next one.